My brothers and sisters, today I'm going to reveal to you something extraordinary. And this should be your guide practically for the rest of your life. Every time after the angelic report, two things happen. The blessed will be blessed and the wicked will be cursed. Before I enter the development, I would like to say thank you for the new subscribers. And we appreciate you when we receive a new subscribers. Guess what we do? We pray for you. We pray for you, your family, and your close one. So you may enter blessing. Hallelujah. And also, we want to see you among the blessed. And the subject I'm going to develop is to give you a tool. So we have, let me take out my image. We have the angelic report on the Practically on the 15th day, February 15th, we have the angelic report. And guess what? From February 15th, let me take it out, to March 8th. March 8th will be the 15th day of Ida, 57 editory. So, guess what? March 8th, until March 8th, you are entering a season. Hallelujah. I want you to have these scriptures because we are not going to develop them right now. Esther chapter, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> chapter 3, verse 13. Esther chap chapter 8 verse 12 and 13, Esther chapter 9 verse 1 to 13, and also you can read Ezekiel 17 to 21. We are not going to develop them. Let me tell you what is happening in the atmosphere after the angelic report. After the angelic report, my brothers and sisters, your guardian angel, until you put that in your mind, this is what is happening around you. You will never win. The devil will use you as a, a ping ball, throw you off anytime he want. He will use people. Like I said to you, you are not dealing with flesh and blood. You are dealing with principalities. We are, you are dealing with spirit. Going in the head of people. And cause them to attack you. Until you get that. You get attacked at your job. You get attacked in the marketplace. You can enter a store. Somebody just hit your gut. And try to have a fight with you. You can enter. You know, anything can happen to you. But it's not the people around you. It's the devil in them. His false spirits. What you must know, there are more false spirits on earth right now than we have people. So they are searching for bodies to host and to enter and to manipulate. Usually, they manipulate people with evil tendency to go around the world and hurt other people. And when you are a Christian, guess what? You are in trouble. You have a target on your back because you said you will serve God and not the devil. So therefore, 
when you have that in your mind, you said, you belong to God, the devil is listening to you, bragging about God, trying to change people. So, he is having his foul spirit entering your close one. A lot of time you think it's the enemy without that is going to attack you. It's not. Is the enemy within? This is why the first lesson I'm going to teach you is to be aware those, of those people you have chosen to be among your circle. To be among your friends. That you choose as your friend. It could be anybody. A friend. A relative. A sibling. And even your parents, and even, uh, you know, people that you put trust in. Next week, my brothers, my sisters, extraordinary movement in the atmosphere. On February 21st, which is the last day of Idar, or of Shabbat. February 21st will be the last day of Shabbat. On the last day of Shabbat, this is when you have, of every month, this is when you have in the calendar of God, this is when you have the whole spirit, that means the spirit of Shabbat is transitioning it back in his bag to leave the atmosphere and practically there are things to be settled on February 21st will be a, 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 the 30th day the last day of Shabbat there are things to be settled practically things to arrange before Shabbat leave the atmosphere and on the 22nd of February, listen to me, today is 18 of February, I'm talking about next week. On February the 22nd, you will have the changing of the gods, the guardians. Why do, why do you think God put 12 months, not 13 months, not 14 months, not, not 15 months? Why 12? Why do you think Jesus have 12 apostles, not, tw not 20, not 25? There are things that you should know spiritually that are conditioned to be a certain way according to God. My brothers, my sisters, until you realize that God is a God of order, and he rearranging things according to his proper will. According to his proper order. You are going to be in trouble. And then you enter. Guess what? You know, I'm going to give you those five days to be aware of my brothers, my sisters. February the 21st. Ground zero. Transition day when the, the spirit of Shabbat, you know, is leaving, you know, to come back in, you know, uh, another year. Listen to this. And then you have February the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th. 22nd, 23rd, the 24th, this is when Esther enters a fast. So, God may deliver him, her, from Haman. Listen to this, my brothers, my sisters. This is why I say to you from February 15 to March 8th, and evil people will be, will be removed from the earth. Will be removed from your midst. 
will be removed from your country every year. Whatever country you are living, you will see one person either die, remove, expose, a scandal may, may, be, may, may break out and say, oh boy, I never thought this person was that way. Or oh, this person died of an accident. Something happened. This is the time, listen to me, you can put it down. Whatever country you are in, and it's automatic, and every year God remove an evil person, and he, he can use any weapon he wants, natural disaster, whatever, accident, heart attack, you know, Something will happen between February 15 and March 8. And you will say, this person was an evil person for real. And I'm going to tell you something. If you have the strength, you have trouble in your family. Bad marriage, crazy things happening. Or you have things to remove from your life. You do what Esther did. On the first three days of Edom. Fast. On the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th. So you may receive that breakthrough. On the 25th. This is when Esther decided to have that, that party. And invite Haman. And, and that was the beginning of a victory. On the 25th day, on February the 25th, if you want something to happen, a blessing to enter your life, that's mean next Saturday, good news will happen to, to good people. When God will see, open your eyes and you are going to see the beginning of your victory. And you are practically will be sure that you have obtained your deliverance, that God is with you. Amen and amen. And after that, you will enter March, the month of March. I will tell you later on when I'm presenting the month of March. But right now, you must be aware of March 6. Of March 7. In March 8, I'm going to tell you why Mark 6 is important. It coincides with the 13th day of Edar, the day when the enemy of the people of God, hallelujah, when you realize that you are the people of God, came. You can expect to receive, hallelujah, victory over your enemy on March 6. Be aware on March, March 6. You will have full evidence that you have obtained the victory. Put on your calendar March 6. This person who's troubling you. We, you know, sometimes God will have that person come and bow down. And what we see, Esther received the victory over Amen, who Amen was put to death, and all his sons, and this family, this generation will never come back and hurt the people of Israel. Like I said to you, you are among the people of Israel. This is celebration time. And then you will enter on March 7 and March 8, the first day of Purim. And in Israel, and, uh, and March 8, uh, it will be the second day of Purim. In Israel, they have a, something that look like, uh, you know, they have people disguise themselves. You know, like, you know, it's like, 
you think this was going to happen to me look at look at me now nothing happened and this is the time they send gifts to each other they're rejoicing on the street they have some type of mardi gras it is party time you have obtained the victory over your enemies i'm going to recap for you what i just said i give you the scriptures Read them for yourself. I'm not going to talk long today. From February 4th, 15 to March 8th, the Lord is going to remove from your midst. It could be an evil person at your job suddenly get fired. Persecuting you suddenly get fired. An evil person in the government of your country remove expose or or put to death sometimes god said this person there is no redemption i must kill that person amen and like i like i presented to you on the 21st settle serious thing in your life on the 22nd, this is you have the new spirit of Edar enter the earth. And Edar doesn't play. This, he, 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 this is a closer. He's there to close out the calendar of God. I will talk to you next week a little more about Edar. And I said to you, if you would like to enter a fast for yourself, you know, you can fast half a day or, or a meal, you know, on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. So you may obtain your victory on the 25th over that amen of your life. My brothers, my sisters, the Lord want to bless you and want you to take advantage of what is happening in the spiritual realm. Like I said to you, God is a spirit. And you must say that you are a spirit, not a body who walk in the earth. May the Lord bless you so you may be in touch, in touch with your first estate and know that you are a spirit first having a body and a earthly experience you are god sons and daughters of a living god act like it you are not you have any no part with the devil that want to destroy you may you meditate on this message and make the change for the glory of god Amen.